We have your last minute addition to your Christmas dinner menu. You are watching The Anodized Chef and we're gonna make a scratch eggnog. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a dozen fresh eggs and we're gonna take just the yolks and I'll show you how to do that here. We're just gonna crack the shell open and we're gonna rock the yolk inside back and forth from the two halves on the shell. And I'm just gonna rock it back and forth and I think we've done hollandaise or we've done something else on the show that, that we've done this before, maybe a dessert. But um, we only want the yolk, so if a little bit of white goes in there, it's okay. But primarily what we wanna do is we just wanna move the yolk over. And that's a whole dozen that we're gonna put into a nice big stainless steel bowl. And you want a bowl big enough to, um, to hold a gallon of eggnog because that's how much we're gonna make. And so we'll rock back and forth. Just getting as much of that white out of there as you can. And that looks good. So we've got our 12 egg yolks in a bowl and we're just gonna beat them slightly so they start to cream up and start to fluff up. You don't have to go crazy with it. But um, you just wanna kinda get them all mashed down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one pound of granulated sugar. And we're gonna add that right in there and that's where all the love comes in. And mix that, you wanna cream that right in. And then we're also gonna add a few spices to it. I've got some nutmeg here. Let's add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna add a full teaspoon of ground cinnamon and that's all ground by the way. Ground cinnamon. Oh, it smells awesome in here. And we'll add a half teaspoon of cloves. Oh yeah, baby. Now let's get this mixed up. It smells incredible in here. Oh, now, off camera, Bob and I were talking, he made, he made a really good point. He asked me, oh, so there's no cooking to this at all. Now you can cook the, um, the eggnog if you wanted to, and that's part of the pasteurization process. What you would normally do is you'd heat the milk up ahead on the stove, then you would, you'd fold your egg yolks into it and simmer for five minutes. But it's perfectly okay to eat egg yolks as long as you hold that temperature. They, they gotta stay cold. So once we're done making this, we're gonna put it right back in the fridge. You gotta keep it below 40 degrees to keep it out of the danger zone, which is between 40 degrees and 140, by the way. So we're gonna go ahead and keep mixing this up. We wanna get make sure that sugar's all dissolved in the egg yolks. And then we're gonna add our vanilla. And I've got one, I've got about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. And we'll mix that right in. Then we're at the point now where we're gonna fold our cream in. I've got, uh, I've got a quart of milk. We're gonna fold in, I've got two cups here. And then I've got two cups again. I'm gonna add about half. And I just wanna continue mixing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stagger how I add the milk. I'm gonna add one of these, I'm gonna add one two cup bowl of milk, and then I'm gonna add two cups of heavy cream. And that way then what'll happen there is the consistency will help to stay nice and creamy and thick. So I'm gonna add about half of this and then we'll fold it back in again. So we'll add the rest of one cream, mix it up. We'll go, go ahead and add that second two cup bowl of milk. So that's a quart of milk and a quart of heavy cream. Just for those of you trying to keep score. To a dozen egg yolks and a pound of sugar. I mean, it's really that easy. And then we're gonna add our last two cups of heavy cream. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. And then when you let this set in the fridge, look at how creamy that is. That is awesome. So what I'm gonna do now that it's all mixed up is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in a pitcher for the refrigerator. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna take the rest. And I'm gonna add it to my glass here. Let's see, can I do this without spilling it? Can you decide? Oh yeah, baby. Now put this aside. And uh, oh, one thing I didn't mention is when you when you're cracking the eggs, you can save those whites and do egg white omelets with them, or you can use them in cooking, make a meringue out of them, or you don't necessarily have to throw them away. I just want to top this glass off here, and then now you can take your eggnog and put it in the fridge. And oh, the last most important thing is this is family friendly eggnog. If you wanted to kick it up a notch, you can add some spiced rum to it. I would take this and extend it out with about a liter of your favorite spiced rum. Put a little captain in there. 
and I'm dripping it all over the place. All right. So there you have it. That is our homemade eggnog. Let me smell. Oh yeah. And you can add, you can adjust the seasonings as you like. If you want to add a little more cinnamon to it, uh, if you wanted to add a little more nutmeg, you know, balance those flavors off. But I wanted to say, hey, thank you very much. Merry Christmas from the Anodized family. Thank you for joining us in our magic, our madness, and our mayhem. We'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. With a sonic sauce!